University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. The second round of the 2010-2011 University Challenge begins tonight. Twelve teams have already fallen by the wayside. Sixteen remain in the contest and now they're fighting for a place in the quarterfinals. Christ College Cambridge won their first round match by 290 points to Liverpool University 60. They were faultless in their answers on Mozart, constitutional history, historic sailing ships and much else besides. Let's see what sort of form they're on tonight. Hi, I'm Jack Baloli, I'm from Isleworth in West London and I'm reading English. Hello, I'm Joe Wormswell, I'm from the London Borough of Newham and I'm studying for a doctorate in astrophysics. And their captain. Hi, I'm Natasha Simonova. I'm originally from Moscow and I'm studying for an MPhil in Renaissance Literature. Hello, I'm Alexander Greaves. I'm from London and I'm reading Biological Natural Sciences. Now, Edinburgh University scored a very impressive 335 points against the team from Jesus College Oxford, who obliged them by dozing throughout the contest and scoring only 35. The Edinburgh team displayed a flair for smart interventions on starter questions and were particularly impressive on trees, as described by the poet Spencer, and on things that can go wrong with your eyes. Let's meet them again. Hi, I'm Ben Gray. I'm from Chesley Street in County Durham, and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Jack Benz. I'm from Darwin, Clackmanshire, and I'm studying chemistry. Their captain? Hi, I'm Ben Scurry, and I'm originally from London, and I'm studying for a PhD in oncology. Hi, I'm Andrew Gray. I'm originally from Emberton in Buckinghamshire, and I'm studying ecological economics. <laughs> OK, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first start of a ten. What three-letter adjective links Georges Lemaitre's hypothesis of the primeval atom the part of the connecting rod that is attached to the crankshaft in a car, and the North American... Edinburgh Scary. Cam? No, you lose five points. And the North American name for the constellation, also known as the plough. Christ Belloli. Big. Big is correct. Your first set of bonuses are on Roman poets. Which poet fought with Brutus and Cassius at Philippi in 42 BC and is noted for the odes and epodes which extol the virtues of friendship, love, good wine and a quiet life? Horace. Thank you, Horace. Horace? Correct. The autobiographical poem Tristia is the work of which poet, banished by Augustus, perhaps for having an affair with the emperor's granddaughter Julia? He's particularly known for his retelling of Greek and Roman myths. Ovid. Ovid? Ovid is right, perhaps best known for his poems addressed to a married woman known as Lesbia, which Roman poet's work also expresses a loathing for Julius Caesar? Catullus. Catullus is right. Another start question now. The Doctrine and Discipline of Divorce was the first of four tracks on that subject by which English writer? Christ Simonova. Milton. It was, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, Christ, are on high-tech swimsuits. Firstly for five, which three letters denote the Speedo racer suit worn by Rebecca Adlington when she won the 400 metres and 800 metres freestyle Olympic titles in 2008? S-Y-N, it's a guess. S-Y-N? No, it was L-Z-R, usually pronounced laser. Worn by many record breakers at the 2009 FINA World Swimming Championships, the Arena X-Glide suit is made entirely of what thermoplastic polymer? Latex? No, it's polyurethane. Who suffered his first major defeat in several years at the 2009 World Championships when he was beaten in the 200 metres freestyle by Germany's Paul Biedermann, who was wearing an Arena X Glide? Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps? Yes. Ten points for this starter question. Which area of London, bounded roughly by Tottenham Court Road, Euston Road, New Oxford Street, and Theobald's Road, gives its name to the literary movement? Christ Simonova. Bloomsbury? Bloomsbury is right. Your bonuses, Christ, are on rhyming names. Which two rhyming names follow Ralph to give the eponymous braggart who aims to woo and win Dame Custance in a mid-16th century play by Nicholas Oodle, often regarded as the first comedy in the English language? Ralph. No, it doesn't rhyme with Ralph, but do they rhyme with each other? I think they rhyme with each other. I'll be damned if I know. Um, or is it Boyster Boyster, as a guess? Boyster Boyster. 
Uh, nominee Baluli. Royster Doyster. Royster Doyster's right. Following a Blue Peter competition, the accident prone schoolboy Wayne, known as Wayne's in Pain, first appeared in print in 2007 in the company of his notorious cohorts, known by what collective name? The Bash Street Kids. Uh, nominee Baluli. The Bash Street Kids. The Bash Street Kids is right. Cobbler Jack Black dreams of chasing naughty couples down the grass green gooseberry double bed of the wood in which work first broadcast in 1954? I don't know. Jack and Ori, I guess. Jack and Ori. No, it's under milk wood. Ten points for this starter question. Which rare inherited medical condition is caused by defective enzymes in the heme pathway, often resulting in neurological complications ah, or skin conditions? Edinburgh Grey. Porphyria. Porphyria is right. Your bonus is now Edinburgh are on scientific terms, specifically those that begin with the two letters A, Z. In each case, give the word from its definition. Firstly, in astronomy, what term denotes the arc of the horizon between the meridian of a place and a vertical circle azimuth. passing through any celestial body? Uh, nominate grey. Azimuth. Correct. In biology or anatomy, an organic structure that occurs singly, that is, not yoked or joined with another... <laughs> Uh, we don't know. It's azygous. And finally, in chemistry, organic compounds containing a nitrogen group, especially one attached at both ends in a covalent bond to other groups. Is that an azide? Azide. Yeah. Uh, azide? No, they're azo compounds. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as you buzz. If the numbers on a dartboard are replaced with the letters corresponding to each number so that one is replaced by A, two by B, and so on, what three-letter word is spelt out anti-clockwise starting from the 18 sector. Christ Baloli. That. Rat is correct, yes. 18, 1 and 20. So your bonuses now, Christ, are on pairs of people with the same given name and surname, except that in each case, one of the surnames is spelled with an additional letter. I want you to tell me the name and exactly what the spelling difference is. Firstly, for five points, a Jacobean playwright and a disgraced Canadian sprinter of the 1980s. KYD and KID. KYD and KID? Kid? No, it's Ben Johnson and Ben Johnson. Oh, the sprinter sorry. had an H in his uh, surname. Secondly, the composer of Oklahoma and South Pacific and the architect of the Millennium Dome. Oh, Arthur Rogers, R O D T E R S, R O G E R S. Uh, Rogers, one has a D in it. Which one? Uh, um, are, are they, uh, the composer? Yes. The composer has a D in it and the architect doesn't. And thirdly, a supermodel and the co-founder of the Orange Prize for Fiction and author of the 2005 novel Labyrinth. Kate, Kate Moss. Moss. Moss yeah. Kate Moss and the supermodel doesn't have an E. That's correct, yes, Kate, the novelist does. <laughs> have an e on Right, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a map of a route or journey showing the major ways in which it may be made. For ten points, I want you to name both the route and the highlighted city, which is its destination. Christ Simonova. It's a pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela. No, I'm afraid I can't accept that. We asked for the name. It's the Way of St James or the Camino de Santiago, and I can't obviously offer it to you, Edinburgh, because I've told you what the answer is. So, uh, picture bonuses in a moment or two when someone gets to start a question right. Fingers on the buzzers, here it is. In economics, what term is sometimes used to refer to the divestment or disposal of subsidiaries and other unwanted activities, but more usually describes the large-scale shedding of employees by major corporations in an effort... Edinburgh Gray. Layoff. No, you lose five points in an effort to reduce costs. Price swarms well. Downsizing. Downsizing is the word, yes. <laughs> so you get the uh, picture bonuses. Three more cities situated along that same pilgrimage route, the Way of St James, which we saw a moment ago, which is itself a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, five points for each city you can identify. Firstly, what is the city at A? Um, Toulouse. Is it Toulouse? It's not Perpignan. Oh, no, it was Perpignan on the coast. No, Toulouse, not Toulouse, doesn't it? Perpignan? Uh, no, that's Toulouse. <laughs> Secondly, what's the city at B? Uh, not Madrid. It's not Barcelona. Salonica. Toledo? 
No, it's too far north. It's um, uh, uh, Burgos. I think it's Burgos. Burgos? Yes. Burgos? Burgos is correct. And finally, C. Bordeaux? That is Bordeaux. Another starter question now. Probably born in Devon in about 675 and originally named Winfred or Winfrith, which missionary became the patron saint of Germany? Where he... Christ Belloli. Boniface. St Boniface is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses now. Christ are on a church. Begun in 1506 and built on the site of the 4th century basilica of the Emperor Constantine, which is usually regarded as the largest Christian church. Let's have an answer, please. I think it's, uh, uh, St. Peter's in Rome. Correct. The original architect of the Basilica, Donato Bramante, died in 1514. Which artist, who'd recently completed a celebrated cycle of frescoes for the Vatican Papal Apartments, was appointed to succeed him? Michelangelo? Michelangelo? No, it's Raphael. The large dome of St. Peter's, completed by Giacomo della Porta and Domenico Fontana, was designed by which artist, who was made the Basilica's chief architect by Pope Paul III in 1546? Not the meaning. Oh, no, that's too early. Michelangelo? Yeah, Michelangelo? Correct. Ten points for this starter question. In which play by Tom Stoppard do the following words appear? To sum up, your father, whom you love, dies. You are his heir. Christ Simonova. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Correct. <laughs> Christ, your bonuses now are on post-Soviet states. In each case, name the country in which the following revolutions took place. Carrying long-stemmed roses as a sign of peace, Mikhail Saakashvili and his supporters entered the Parliament building and demanded the resignation of President Eduard Shevardnadze in the Rose Revolution of 2003. Georgia. Correct. Secondly, which country saw the Orange Revolution of 2004, in which protesters successfully challenged a presidential runoff election that had given victory to the pro-Russian Prime Minister Viktor Yanukovych? Ukraine. Ukraine. Ukraine? Correct. Which country saw the Tulip Revolution of 2005, after which President Askar Akayev fled by helicopter to neighbouring Kazakhstan? Kyrgyzstan? Kyrgyzstan is correct. Another starter question. 24 Sussex Drive, New Edinburgh, is the official residence of the Prime Minister of which Commonwealth country? The first holder of the office to live there was Louis Saint Laurent in 1951, and Stephen Harper became the incumbent in 2006. Edinburgh Grey. Canada. Canada's right. Here are your bonuses. <laughs> They're on poetry. In each case, identify the 18th or early 19th century poet who wrote the following lines. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. Any ideas? Longfellow? Longfellow? No, it's William Blake. I fear thy skinny hand, and thou art long and lank and brown as is the ribbed sea sand. Anything? I have no idea. Words? <laughs> Is it 18th, 19th yeah, century? Yeah. Percy Shelley. 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 No, it's from Coleridge's Rhyme of the Ancient okay. Mariner. And finally, nothing beside remains round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. Tennyson. Tennyson. No, that's from Ozymandias by Shelley. Ten points for this. What common substance links a proverbial happy or carefree character, a French novelist born in 1804, and a temporary defence against floodwaters? Christ screams. Levy. No. One of you buzz, Edinburgh. Edinburgh Grey. Sand. Sand is correct, yes. Sand boy, George Sand and Sandbag. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on a symbol. Edinburgh. In mathematics, what is the symbol for the cardinality of any set that can be matched with the integers? N. C. N. 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 No, it's Aleph naught. Aleph, Delphi, Opal and L3 were the detectors used in which particle accelerator? Cyclotron. LHC. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. LHC. 
No, it was the LEP at CERN. And finally, the Hebrew letter Aleph is a shorthand designation for an early manuscript of the Greek Bible named after which mountain where it was discovered in St. Catherine's oh. Monastery? Oh, no. Athos? No, it's Sinai. Athos is in Greece. Ten points for this starter question, which is a musical one. A piece of popular music. Ten points if you can tell me the name of the artist. Edinburgh Bins. MIA. MIA is right, yes. That was Paper Planes, which uses a sample of The Clash's song Straight to Hell. Music bonuses, three more pieces of popular music which feature samples from songs by The Clash. In each case, I want you to tell me the title of the song you hear and the title of the original Clash song from which the sample's taken. Firstly, which song is this and which Clash song is it based on? Uh... Dob, be good to me, and Guns of Brixton. Correct. Secondly... Um, Stupid Girl and Train in Vain. Correct. Finally... Um, what did we say again? Yeah, rock the oh, yeah, Rock the Casbah and Miami. No, it was Rock the Casbah was the Clash song, but the uh, song was Will 2K by Will Smith. Right. right, another starter question now. Albuquerque and Las Cruces in New Mexico, El Paso and Big Bend National Park in Texas and Juarez in Mexico all lie on which river? Ah. Right, Edinburgh Gray. Rio Grande? The Rio Grande is correct, yes. <laughs> Edinburgh, your bonuses this time are on European geography. Noted for its Baroque architecture, which German state capital lies roughly midway between Berlin and Prague? Dresden. Dresden. Correct. The site of Poland's oldest cathedral. Which major city is around halfway between Berlin and Warsaw? Krakow. Graz. 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 I don't know. Linz. Uh, they're in Austria. Krakow. Is it Krakow? Krakow? Is it halfway between? I, I think, think it's so. too far south, but go for okay. it. Krakow? No, it's Poznan. Which former EU capital lies close to the midpoint of a straight line drawn on the map from Paris to Berlin? Bonn. Yeah, Bonn. Bonn. Bonn is right. Another starter question now. <laughs> well, I am vexed was Mrs Ramsbottom's response to which mishap that befell her son Albert at Blackpool in a comic monologue made famous by Stanley Holloway? Uh, Edinburgh Scary. Seagull stealing his ice cream. Uh, no. Christ Simonova. Drowning? No, he'd been swallowed by a lion. Another starter question. Listen carefully and answer as soon as you buzz. In addition to London and Dublin, seven EU capitals have English names of six letters. For ten points, name three of the others. Uh, Edinburgh Grey. Madrid, Berlin... Um, no, I'm sorry. If you, answer, if you buzz, you must answer because you've shut the other guys out. So I'm going to offer it to you very quickly. Come on, one of you buzz. Christ Greaves. Madrid, Berlin, Lisbon. Correct. The others are Prague, Athens, Vienna and Warsaw. Your bonuses, Christ, are on Latin expressions beginning with the preposition ex, meaning from favour. What Latin expression refers to the paying of money out of a sense of moral obligation rather than as a legal requirement? Ex gratia. Ex gratia. Ex gratia is correct, meaning from the teacher's chair. What two-word expression means with the full authority of office and is particularly used of papal pronouncements? Ex cathedra. Ex cathedra. Ex cathedra is right. What two words appear on book plate inscriptions showing the owner of the book? Ex libris. There's no need to appear so disdainful that it's so easy. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Another picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a self-portrait of a French artist and ten points if you can identify him. Edinburgh Bins. Manny. Christ, anyone want to buzz? Christ, be lonely. To lose the track? No, it's Monet, not Manny. So, uh, picture bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points for this starter question. What common name is given to the gland-like lymphatic tissues present on the back wall of the nose in children, which will normally reduce and disappear during adolescence? Christ's Greaves. Brown adipose tissue. Uh, no. Nope. 
One of you want to buzz uh, Edinburgh Gray. Adenoids. Adenoids is right, yes. <laughs> I don't know whether you'd be pleased, but you get the uh, picture bonuses, which are self-portraits uh, by French artists, all painted in the 1890s. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly, who's this? To lose the track? No, that's Cezanne. <laughs> Secondly, who's this? Matisse. Is it Matisse? Is that, is that about the right time? I don't know. Matisse. Shall we go? He painted this quickly. Uh, Matisse. No, that's Renoir. And finally, who's this? Picasso. No. Is it Gauguin? Yeah. Yeah, Gauguin. Gauguin. It is Gauguin. Right, another starter question. James Smiley's 1991 novel, A Thousand Acres, and Akira Kurosawa's 1985 film... Christ Belloli. King Lear. King Lear is right. <laughs> Your bonuses, Christ, are on post-war prime ministers. In each case, name the prime minister who was born in the same year as the following. Firstly, for five points, the authors Somerset Mormon G.K. Chesterton and the US President Herbert Hoover. Or, or someone of his own, or Atlee. Churchill. Um, Churchill. Um, no, it was Winston Churchill. Oh. Name either of the two Prime Ministers born in the same year as the novelist Roald Dahl and Harold Robbins and the French President Francois Mitterrand. Um, Guess Wilson. Guess. Wilson? Wilson? Yes, the other one was Edward Heath. And finally, the actor Pierce Brosnan and the politicians Jeb Bush and Michael Portillo. Oh, I John Major? No, it was Tony Blair. Mm. Ten points for this. Salon and Oriero are forms of which dance originating in Argentina and now are stamped... Christ swarms well. Tango. The tango is correct. Three questions on the Greek prefix epi for your bonuses. From the Greek meaning words spoken over a tomb, which noun now usually means a written inscription on a tomb or gravestone in memory of the deceased? Epitaph. Correct. From the Greek meaning intensification, which word is used in classical drama to describe the part of a play in which the main action develops? Episodic? No, it's epitasis. And finally, an epithalamium is a song or poem celebrating which rite of passage? Marriage. Marriage or wedding is correct. Four and a half minutes ago, ten points for this. Peregrine, Alberta and Rochester are among about 2,000 varieties of which species of stone fruit, Prunus persica, belonging to the rose family? Christ screaves. Uh, uh, no, Any Edinburgh, one of you buzz. Uh, Edinburgh's scary. Peach. Peach is right, yes. Here are your bonuses now. They're on orchestras. Founded in 1832, which orchestra's principal conductors have included Herbert von Karajan, Claudio Abbado and Simon Berlin Rattle? Berlin, uh, Berlin Philharmonic. Correct. Noted for its aim of addressing some of its country's social problems through musical education, the Simon Bolivar Youth Orchestra was formed in 1975 in which country? Uh, Bolivia, surely. Uh, no, isn't it? Bolivia. Uh, no, it's Venezuela. Which orchestra was founded in Manchester in 1858 by a German-born oh. pianist and conductor and has premiered works by Vaughan Williams Nominate and Elgar? Halle Orchestra. Halle Orchestra, correct. Another starter question. Its symptoms, including numbness, muscular weakness and damage to hearing and sight, Minamata disease, was named after the town in Japan where it was first observed in 1956 and is caused by exposure to which pollutant? Edinburgh Gray. Mercury. Mercury's right. Here are your bonuses. They're on the International Radio Telephony Spelling Alphabet, or NATO Alphabet, which begins Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and so on. In the NATO Alphabet, a Greek letter and a nymph deprived of speech by the goddess Hera are followed by Echo. which dance? Oh. Foxtrot. Foxtrot. Correct. In the same context, which SI multiple comes between a Shakespearean character and a South American capital? <laughs> Quickly. Kilo? Kilo? Kilo is right. Finally, which alcoholic spirit precedes both a form of electromagnetic Whiskey. radiation? Whiskey is correct. <laughs> Ten points for the starter question. What surname is that of the protagonist of Evelyn War's Sword of Honor trilogy and is also an epithet given to Edmund, the brother of Edward I? Christ Spilloli. Bastard. No, Edinburgh quickly buzz. Edinburgh's scary. Black. 
No, it's crouch back. Another starter question. In physiology, the foramen magnum is a large, almost circular opening in the centre of... Edinburgh Gray. Skull. Skull is right. Here are your bonuses. They're on National Museums. In which city is Deepdale Stadium, the oldest continuously used professional football league ground in the world and the site of the National Football Museum? Preston. Preston. Correct. In which northern city is the National Media Museum, formerly the National Museum of Photography, Film and Television? Bradford. Bradford. Correct. Which museum is the oldest in the UK and is split across three sites, a museum in Leeds, Fort Nelson in Portsmouth and the Tower of London? Yes. Is that, is that what it's the called? Royal the Royal Arms Museum? No, I can't accept that. It's called the Royal Armouries. Oh. Ten points for this starter question. In Greek mythology, which king used the water of the river Pactolus to wash away the gift that had been reluctantly bestowed upon him by... Christ Swanswell. Midas. Midas is right. Your bonuses now are on a series. A one-dimensional Taylor series is an expansion of a real function f of x about a point x equals a. What is the more common name for this series if a is zero? Maclaurin series? Correct. Which function has a Maclaurin series of 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial, etc.? Come on. I need an answer, please. Sin x. No, it's e to the x, the exponential function. The geometric series with first term 1 and common ratio x is equivalent to the Maclaurin series for which function? Come on, let's have it. Let's have Sign it, please. X. It's 1 over 1 minus x. Ten points for this. Usually a subdivision of a canton. What in France is the smallest locally governed administrative unit? Edinburgh Gray. Commune. Commune is right. Here are your bonuses. They're on US politicians. To what political office was Dean Rusk appointed in 1961 as a result of which he played a leading role in Cuban Missile Crisis the following year? Secretary of State. Secretary of State. Correct. Which Secretary of State resigned from Jimmy Carter's administration in 1980 over the failed attempt to rescue US hostages in Tehran? The North. North. Uh, North? No, it was Cyrus Vance. Who was appointed Secretary of State under Richard Nixon in 1973? <laughs> and at the Gong, Edinburgh University have 160, Christ had 220. Stage a pretty spectacular recovery, uh, Edinburgh. Not enough to win, but uh, you know, who knows? If you got on another ten minutes, you might have taken it. Christ, you had some brilliant uh, interventions. We congratulate you. You'll go forward now to the quarterfinals. Many congratulations to you. I hope you can join us next time for another second round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Edinburgh University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Christ College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>